Mastering Product Development Strategies Profit Hinges on Product Dev Harmony How do its goals and objectives for product development align with its overall business strategy, and what specific targets has the company established to measure success in this area? The Art of Product Development It's a delicate dance between innovation and execution, where the rhythm of success is set by the harmony between operational excellence and strategic vision. I've had the privilege of witnessing this dance firsthand, and I'd like to share a case study that illustrates the power of aligning product development with business strategy. Meet Aurora, a meat-sized software company that had grown rapidly by acquiring several rival firms. As a result, their product portfolio had become a tangled mess of disparate systems, each with its own technology stack and development process. The company's leaders knew that to sustain their growth momentum, they needed to rationalize their product development strategy and bring order to the chaos. Aurora's CEO, Carolyn, was determined to create a unified product development process that would drive operational excellence. She assembled a cross-functional team, including representatives from product management, engineering, and customer success. Their mission was to develop a product development strategy that would align with the company's overall business goals. As I worked closely with Caroline and her team, I could sense the sense of urgency and excitement. They knew that getting this right would be a game-changer for the company. The first step was to define the company's overall business strategy and identify the key objectives that product development needed to support. Aurora's leadership team had already articulated the company's mission and vision, but they needed to translate these lofty statements into tangible goals. They settled on three core objectives, increase revenue growth by 20% annually, improve customer satisfaction ratings by 15%, and reduce operational costs by 12%. These objectives became the North Star guiding the product development strategy. Next, the team established specific targets to measure success in product development. These targets included reducing time to market by 30%, increasing the frequency of product releases by 25%, and improving product quality by 20%. These targets were ambitious, but achievable, and they provided a clear direction for the product development team. The team then turned their attention to defining the product development process. They adopted a hybrid approach, combining elements of agile and waterfall methodologies. This allowed them to maintain the flexibility of agile while still providing the structure and predictability that waterfall offered. One of the most significant changes was the introduction of a centralized product management function. This team was responsible for defining the product roadmap, prioritizing features, and allocating resources. The product managers worked closely with engineering teams to ensure that the products being developed aligned with customer needs and business objectives. Throughout the process, I could sense the team's growing excitement and confidence. They were gaining clarity and focus, and it was palpable. As we worked through the complexities of process design and organizational change, the team began to see the possibilities. They started to envision a future where product development was a key driver of business growth, rather than a source of frustration and inefficiency. The final piece of the puzzle was to establish a set of key performance indicators, KPIs, to measure success. The team defined a range of metrics, including revenue growth, customer satisfaction, and time to market. These KPIs provided a clear dashboard for the leadership team to monitor progress and make data-driven decisions. As the new product development strategy took shape, I could feel the energy building within the organization. The team was motivated, empowered, and focused on a common goal. They were no longer bogged down by inefficient processes and siloed thinking. They were united in their pursuit of operational excellence. Aurora's journey serves as a powerful reminder that product development strategy is not just about building products, it's about driving business growth. By aligning their product development process with their overall business strategy, Aurora has been able to achieve remarkable results. Revenue growth has exceeded expectations, customer satisfaction has improved dramatically, and operational costs have been reduced significantly. As I look back on this experience, 
I'm struck by the importance of strategic alignment. When product development is driven by a clear business strategy, the results can be transformative. It's a powerful reminder that operational excellence is not just about efficiency, it's about creating a competitive advantage that drives business success. The product development strategy of operational excellence is rooted in the company's overall business strategy, which emphasizes efficiency, cost-effectiveness, and quality. The primary goal of this approach is to streamline processes, eliminate waste, and optimize resource allocation to deliver high-quality products at competitive prices. In alignment with this strategy, the company's product development goals and objectives focus on 1. Cost reduction. The company aims to minimize production costs without compromising quality. This is achieved by simplifying product designs, reducing material costs, and improving manufacturing processes. 2. Process efficiency. The company strives to enhance its product development processes by reducing cycle times, improving prototype quality, and increasing the speed of product launches. 3. Quality improvement. The company is committed to delivering high-quality products that meet customer expectations. This is ensured by implementing robust quality control measures, conducting rigorous testing, and ensuring compliance with industry standards. 4. Customer satisfaction. The company aims to deliver products that meet customer needs and preferences. This is achieved by conducting market research, gathering customer feedback, and incorporating customer insights into product development. 5. Innovation. The company recognizes the importance of innovation in staying ahead of the competition. It invests in research and development to identify new technologies, materials, and manufacturing processes that can enhance product performance, reduce costs, or improve customer experience. To measure success in product development, the company has established specific targets, including 1. Cost reduction targets. The company aims to reduce production costs by 10% within the next 12 months. 2. Cycle time reduction targets. The company aims to reduce product development cycle times by 20% within the next 6 months. 3. Quality metrics. The company aims to maintain a defect rate of less than 1% and achieve a customer satisfaction rating of 90% or higher. 4. Innovation metrics. The company aims to launch at least two new products per year that incorporate innovative technologies or features. 5. Customer satisfaction metrics. The company aims to achieve a net promoter score, NPS, of at least 80 within the next 12 months. To achieve these targets, the company has established a range of key performance indicators KPIs, that are regularly monitored and reviewed. These KPIs include 1. Product development cycle time 2. Production costs per unit 3. Defect rates 4. Customer satisfaction ratings 5. Net promoter score NPS. The company's product development teams are responsible for achieving these targets and KPIs. They work closely with cross-functional teams, including manufacturing, quality, and customer-facing teams, to ensure that products are developed efficiently, effectively, and in line with customer needs. The company's senior leadership team reviews progress against these targets and KPIs on a quarterly basis providing guidance and support to product development teams as needed. This ensures that the company remains focused on achieving its operational excellence goals and objectives, and that product development continues to align with the overall business strategy.